Okay, today we're going to have a brief review of Bernoulli's principle. And here we have Bernoulli. Remember, he's our Swiss dude. So what exactly is Bernoulli's principle? Well, the whole idea of his principle is that as the speed of a fluid increases, the pressure decreases. So what exactly does this mean? Well, if you'll remember back in our classroom and we had our girls quickly spinning and moving around the room like fast moving air, they weren't able to exert a lot of pressure on things. On the other hand, our Star Wars boys who move slowly were able to exert a high amount of pressure on objects. Well, to help us out, we have two acronyms. The first of these being FLP, which stands for the faster the moving air, the lower the pressure. And we have our little flip. And then the second of these is the SHIP, which stands for the slower the moving air, the higher the pressure. All right, so what we have is flip the ship for Bernoulli. And we have a little diagram at the bottom of our ship, so why don't we just do that? We're going to just flip the ship for Bernoulli. And again, what it stands for is flip is faster the moving air, the lower the pressure, and ship, the slower the moving air, the higher the pressure. Now if we take a peek at our airplane in the corner, you'll remember that we talked about the shape of the wing was an airfoil shape and it was curved on the top and straight at the bottom. Now when we had two students try to run around a table to get to the point on the other side, we noticed the person who had to run around the curved side had to run a lot faster. Well the same thing holds true in an airplane and if we look at the diagram with the curved surface being on the top, we'll notice that's where we're going to find our fast moving air or our low pressure and that's going to take place right over here. And then what we're going to see at the bottom on the straight surface we have the slow moving air or the high pressure and that's going to take place right under here, the high and the low pressure. Now the second thing that we talked about is that air always moves from an area of high pressure to low pressure. And so what we have is we have our little symbol of our hand which says hi low, in other words hello, and we always remember that air moves from high to low. So there we go, remember pressure always moves from an area of high pressure to low pressure. So if we go back to our diagram in the corner and we look at where our high pressure and where our low pressure is, we'll notice the high at the bottom and the low at the top. So in our diagram what we would have is we would have this sort of a movement. And then what happens is when we have that, the high to the low um, pressure, what we are creating is lift and we would have our plane moving upwards. And that's basically Bernoulli's principle in a nutshell. Now if we were to use this principle in something like a juice box where you were sipping from a straw, what I want you to do is think about where you would have the fast moving air and the low pressure and the slow moving air and high pressure, where would both take place and what exactly would happen? So be ready to explain it to me and have fun with it.